Hi, I'm Ruth Kramer, your Holistic Soul Healer, and this is step five, this is your focus. So how do we get focused in on our life, and how do we focus in on what you want? Because we really started talking about you, and about what you want, so how do we create that? Well, it's definitely a mind-body-spirit connection, but it's also a pinpointed focus, just like this lovely candle. So in order to illuminate who you are from within, you have to also have certain strategic steps towards that. And I'm going to give you that strategy so that you've got it for your rest of your life. And you'll be able to use this every day for the rest of your life, but you're certainly going to do this for the week between step five and step six. So here's what I'm going to ask you to do. I want you to take a piece of paper, and you might need to take three pieces of paper or copy it three times, because I'd like you to have one beside your bed, one in your car, and one in your wallet or purse. So these five steps are going to be your five favorite things that you want in your life. That could be a home, a car, a job, a family, children. Everybody's got their own five things that they want. It doesn't mean you can't have more, but we're gonna start with just five. We're gonna limit it and get you focused on what it is that you want. On the other side of that piece of paper, those three pieces of paper that you have in your car and in your wallet or purse and in your um, bedroom, uh, in your car, home and your wallet, you're going to have the five things you want and on the other side the five things you don't want. When your mind starts to go to the negative of what you don't want, you're going to flip that paper and remind yourself to stay in the positive, in the flow of your illuminated candle where you focus on what you do want because it's really easy for us to get off track and stop focusing on what we want by hanging out in all the things we've got that we don't want. So in order to stop doing that, you have to start creating what you want. And the only way to do that is to stay connected to it. So true manifestation involves creating what we want. And the only way we can do that is to not keep inviting in thoughts, feelings, words, and then actions that create the reality of what we don't want. It's very easy for us to create what we don't want with our thoughts, feelings, actions, and then reality has to hit. So the signal you put out into your universe is like a radio frequency. And when that signal is positive and affirming, those five steps, this is what I want, and on the back, this is what I don't want. When your mind goes to what you don't want, flip the switch, let's start focusing on what we do want. Those are five steps that I want you to stay focused on this whole week. Stay focused on what you want, and any time you flip, flip the switch back again to what you really, really want your life to look like. And you start to manifest the life of your dreams. It starts right here, right now, step five. This is one of the most important things you can do before we move on to step six. So let's go one week. I'm Ruth, I'm your holistic soul healer, and this is step five. Good luck, keep doing it every day. Step five, let's focus, let's stay on track and focus on what you want and affirm it every day. I am driving my fabulous car any day now. I am living my life. I am enjoying my house. I am marrying that beautiful person. I am bringing in great children. I am doing the job of my dreams or the career of my aspirations. Let's stay inspired. Think of your focus and what you want as this candle of inspiration bringing in the light of your life and illuminating and shining a light on what you want rather than on what you don't want. Thank you. I will see you next week. Step five.